In this video, we're going to focus on a custom postcard that you can send out using campaigns with real mailers. So we're going to start off in designs here on the left hand side. We're going to want to click the plus sign and choose print this time so that we can actually print out a postcard that is custom for it just sold. Now there's tons of different categories if it's a for sale, all the different ones. We're going to do just sold and standard postcard. Now this is something I want to promote that we sold in the day. So I'm going to choose sold in X days here with this template and we're going to use this one. A couple things that are different when you're doing a print media versus social is first thing you'll notice with print is I have multiple pages. I have a front and a back to this postcard. Now this has a nice little layout. I like the little lines and different things and I've also got the back of the card to design as well. Now for time purposes I went ahead and updated this and I'll share with you how I changed it. So we're going to come here to designs and this is my version of the card. First thing I did was go look at my listing. And that is 531 North Ocean Boulevard. And we're looking for apartment 804 right there. And this is where I went ahead and put my images. So I have tons of images to choose from. If I want it to be a different picture, I can just change the background button right here. None of these were that exciting to me, so I decided to stick with the lovely one with the intercoastal. Now, one thing to notice, my MLS brands are photos, so one thing I don't want to do is have that branding on there. So if you double click your image, this will allow you to resize and crop it. So I'm going to crop it out there. I want more ocean. And now that logo is gone and you can see the building that this was sold in. I also came here and changed the text, sold in one day. Now the original had a black background. So I clicked here and changed it to a blue, which I had as one of my library colors. You can also change it to one of the KW ones if you want. You've got them here under default. I can make it a red instead if I like that. However, I went ahead and stayed with my teal colors that I wanted there. So that's going to be the front of my card. I also had the listing details here, so I was able to add the address right there. I was able to grab that this is a two bedroom, two bath and was sold in 1977 was when it was built. So I added that information and changed that text here. That is the front of the card. So I'm going to come back to pages here and go to the back of the card. Now this is a little different and I added a little box to show you. So in my testing of this, your original is going to look like this. And the one downfall of this is it makes it look like you should design it. However, when I got to the campaigns and real mailers, they add a big white box right around here and it took over a lot of that space. So to represent that, I added a white box just to show you what it's going to potentially look like, which meant I had to move everything over. So I took the graphic and moved the circles over. I changed my text to say, wow, sold in one day. We can help you sell fast too. Call us today. I added my information. So I had my images here. The original had a square, so I decided to delete that and instead came to frames and added a circle. Then I came to the text, which I had under text and my library, and I went ahead and dragged the text boxes over. And then I had my logos here, so I added my two logos for my team and my company name. So that was what I did to make this fit. So you can see I had to do a lot to change it. I also had to move some stuff over. So when I moved it over, I did lose a little squigglies, but that's okay. There's not much space for them anyways. However, this is not going to work unless you move it all over. So I've gotten my little white box here. I'm going to delete that. I just wanted it there as an example. So when we get to the system side, you'll know why. All right, so I've got my cards, so I'm going to save them. Now this is where the biggest trick comes in is we need to save this and download it to print. Now this is how you do it to download to print. Don't use JPEG or PNG. These will not work if you want to do the campaigns with the real mailers. So you're going to do get PDF and you're only going to do one page at a time. So I'm going to start with page one and I want it to be a high resolution print quality and I'm going to Choose publishing settings and say use manual bleed. You want it to have a little bit of a bleed over so that when the postcard prints, it is edge to edge with no lines or white spaces. So I've got that ready and I'm gonna say start download. That will be the front of my postcard. And I'm also gonna to wanna to do another download here and download the back of the postcard. So we're gonna do the same thing, but this time page two of two. 
I'm going to say high resolution print, use manual bleed again, start, and now I've got the front of my card and the back of my card ready to go. There we go. So now I'm done with the design part. So we're going to come over here to campaigns. So I'm now in campaigns and we're under direct mail and we're going to say create new campaign and you want it to be a direct mail piece. So what is the total of this? My goal is to say just sold Pompano Beach. That's just for me to know. And I actually want to get more listings from this. I want others in that area to know that I sold this in one day. So we're going to use attract listings. Use a default template would be the pre-made templates, but I want to upload my own design. So we're going to say upload my design, set up campaign. Now it is going to ask me to drag and drop or ask for the files. So I've already got them downloaded here and we're going to start with the front. Now I did learn it doesn't show you the preview right away. That's okay. You will see it before you're done. So I'm going to just go ahead and say here, click the open. I've got the back of the postcard, by the way. So the back of the postcard I have as well. Here we go. So now I've got the front and the back. Now you will not see the preview right away until you get to the end and that's okay. That's normal. So I'm going to click continue. Now I need to do my company. So I will grab our market center logo, which I have ready and queued up. So I've got that there. I'm going to enter our name, Keller Williams, Realty Professionals, our address. There we go. And I'm going to choose Florida. Okay, now you have to hit verify address for real mailers to work. So that's what I entered and this is what it recommends. That's okay. I'm going to say confirm. And then it asks you, who are you targeting? Now I want to target local. So I'm going to go by this address here. So I'm actually going to choose a farm market that I want to target. Now this is a farm that I'm working. So I'm going to choose Florida here. That's a farm that we're targeting and the local database. So I'm going to save that. And instead of sending 200 cards, I'm actually going to send 25. And I'll explain why when we get to the next one. It's already got it chosen. Four by six is the design that you did. If you wanted any of these larger ones, right now the designs doesn't have the size for six by nine or six by 11, but it works perfect for four by six. So I'm going to save that and we're going to configure to targeting. Are you sure you want to? Yes. This will take us to the next step. This is where you get to choose who does it go to. And this to me is one of my most exciting features. So here are the 25 people I'm going to target in this area. Now I actually want to target single family homes. So there we go. And I'm actually going to look at the last year sold. So I don't want to target someone who just moved in. I'm going to target people who've been in their home at least nine years. So I'm only going to target those people who've lived in their home at least since 2011 or earlier. I'm going to leave it on the first class here. I do want a copy of it to myself. So I've got all that here. You can also look for a different address if you want, recenter the map. You can actually use this to draw a shape as well if I was targeting a specific neighborhood. That's really cool as well. So I'm going to click the next button. And this is where you're going to see the preview of your card. So I know it didn't show in the previous screens, but it will show here. This is telling me if I process it before 3 p.m. on my business day, it will be in production and fulfillment center the next uh, that day. Once they've got it, it takes between four to six days to get it delivered. So here we are, my card. Notice this big white box that I was telling you about. So I do know I could move a little of this over, but I'm okay with how it looks. I just wanted you to be aware that this is where that postage is going to go. Here's the current resident stuff it's going to have. Office number, name, and all the logos are on it. And this would be ready to go. And I can make the payment to place my order now. So we were able to take that design from the original. We were able to customize it. And then we were able to add it to campaigns to actually send a postcard and target a specific group of people, which in this case, I was looking for more listings. So I was going to target single family homes in my farm area. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on KB Connect or YouTube today.